gonna go ahead and destroy some shit. Like I said before, I'm uh, gonna do some chest, gonna do some shoulders, obviously arms, because you know, we always have to have uh, that arm day, you know? Um, on top of that, maybe doing either squats or deadlifts. So, been really, really itching to do some of those lately. So, we will see how that whole thing goes. Using one of these, hoodie. If you don't know about that, basically you're warming your body up two times. Not just one, but two. So, I always like to start my workouts with the cardio uh, for the thermal heat purpose. So, I'm gonna be doing this for probably 10, 15 minutes and get started on that weight training. Just got done with 15 minutes of cardio. Now, I'm gonna get started on some shoulders. But first, gotta get stretching done. Bending right here while keeping your upper body straight up. <sighs> Stretching this way, obviously, gonna get activated right in here. This stretch, what we're doing here is getting our elbows, putting them inside, just inside our quads, and then pushing out. Now, with that one, what we're doing, get it in focus real quick. Now what we're doing on that one is actually stretching our leg. So after cardio, what I typically like doing is actually going ahead and stretching right after cardio. It uh, really alleviates any pains that I have overall uh, within the recovery time, but also you just want to go ahead and stretch anyway. So there's that. I'm gonna move on to some shoulders now. So here we go. Um, by the way, whenever y'all do anything that's, that has to do with cardio or something, make sure you use different variations. So what I mean by var different variations is here. I do it like this. When I say different variations, I mean this. So when you come back, keep coming back way far, and then up, and then way far, up. You want to make sure that you are getting a stretch in while you're doing cardio. Um, for my benefits alone, what I've been able to see is the fact that I'm able to have everything stretch from literally right inside here, to stretching just down there, and then repeating that. So I've had, I'm just telling y'all things that I've had from my own experiences. Um, what I do for myself, so I'm not ever gonna do anything that like doesn't really fucking make sense either.
that one, um, obviously, this one is shoulder presses by keeping these down right here. That down right there. You want to go ahead and keep that uh, to uh, basically at your shoulders or below your shoulders. That's where I've had really, really, really good focal points at. And especially whenever you are starting out um, in your first weight training, not even really, but right after you're done with your warm up cardio, what you really want to do is with whatever body part you're working out, what I like to do is, and what I've always done really, is uh, choose something that's not light, light, but that's just a little under medium, a little under medium, and uh, weights that is. And what we'll do is pick that weight and then go for maybe minimum of 20 reps. Uh, typically that's what I've actually liked to do, um, only because, well, first of all, you start getting that blood rush and then you start getting that quick pump. Um, and then if you do different variations in that, then you'll actually see, you'll, <laughs> you'll actually see some different type of concentration in it. Uh, different concentration as in um, the way that you come down. If you cut, say you come down right here, and like you're coming down right here and you're ending right here, well it's a 90 degree angle that you're ending at. So just going from here, back down to here and repeating that one, it's gonna be much different from a concentration that say is right here all the way, and then you come down 90 degrees like this, and going back up, down. So. Sometimes what I'll do is actually start from right here, and this again, I'll work this out in different variations, but what I'll do is start out obviously right here at rest, and then come up, and then come back down fully, and then go up half, come down all the way, go up fully, and come down halfway, up that. So what you could do is actually uh, go up all the way down just to get that one full rep in, but then whenever you go up all the way, come down, and then start the half here, and up all the way and half and up all the way and down all the way and half and up this it's like a it's like a dun, dun, whoa 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 <laughs> stuff like that but um yeah so that's warm up number one of our shoulder this one I'm gonna do some shoulder presses I uh, that last that first set which was like my warm-up set was pretty much well that was 70 pounds Let's see show you guys right here uh, 70 pounds right there uh, right there 70 pounds with a zero resistance on it again that was just for my um, yikes I'm messing up on this I'm messing up totally I'm messing up totally oh my god all right <laughs> here we go now all right so again that was at 70 pounds uh, with zero resistance. Um, I think I did like 20. I'm not sure. I just went ahead and just went till I feel it. Um, a lot of times what I purposely like to do as well is go to where there's no set rep count in my warm-ups. I just go until I actually feel it. So uh, you can go the numbers way. Typically what I always do is just see how I actually feel. So that's probably what I'm gonna say. Here we go. Starting this one out. Um, um, We'll do 90 pounds for this. Just about a uh, medium, medium type. And this one will go for, uh, if you want to go numbers, you can go 12. Uh, but I personally, I'm going to go above that, or I'm going to try to always. Again, I go up upon feeling. Shoulders, 
why not let's go ahead and do one more warm up the soda please or not really warm up but whatever the fuck i want right you know finding a place for the camera it is actually a hard thing especially whenever you did not really come that prepared but you know you always find a way to do this stuff all right so what we're going to be doing right here is some um uh, some shoulder work so uh, gonna be some front shoulder raises, some side shoulder raises. Um, Miss of, uh, I never know what these are called, but I'm just gonna be coming out here, starting from here and ending out here. And whenever you do it, you always wanna make sure that your elbow is at your side, or as close to your side as possible, and you're coming out here. So you're keeping, you see, keeping this, your arm, obviously, 90 degrees throughout this whole time. Okay, y'all, this is really fucking hard with having I mean, a uh, tripod, a true tripod. This sucks. Actually, it doesn't suck, but definitely goes up there for sure. <sighs> So whenever you come up, it's gonna be rotating your fist. It's gonna be rotating with you. So when you come out, you wanna, like like you're dumping out water right here, you wanna come out and here, and here. So when you come up, don't come up all the way, just come up right here, and be getting that concentration isolated type deal right in there. So let's get it right there. song and uh, keep it going because it just sounds so fucking good. Daniel Lynn Bailey's husband, Rob Bailey, man, you and the Hustle Standard make some great music, not gonna lie. Oh, <sighs> <sighs> 
extension and just a regular tricep extension nothing complicating just literally having your having your arm right here and coming straight down remember whenever you get your whenever you get it you start from here you want to keep this keep your hand a little, little straight down so when you come straight down you get more of that flex in your tricep right there so make sure you get that squeeze because that's the one way that you will be able to get your squeeze All right. Ah, all right, so uh, this one, what I'm gonna do is, Jesus Christ, this lighting is terrible. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is another tricep extension, or another set of tricep extension, except what I'm going to do is take, or uh, it's gonna be pretty much like three sets in one. So it's pretty awesome, pretty crazy though. Uh, basically what we'll do is take one step, and then we'll go from here, and then we'll go from here to here to here. And that's one step back each time. And then after that, we'll go from the back and take one step forward and another step forward. So basically two steps forward from two steps back and two steps forward. Y'all see what I'm talking about though. It's gonna be pretty fucking cool. And y'all will understand exactly how this happens whenever y'all do it because whenever you do this, it creates a total isolation within your arms, like your triceps. 
it's crazy. It's so awesome though. Like I, I don't know. Whenever, whenever my coach Daniel, uh, Daniel Sullivan. If you don't, if y'all have not seen him, go look at him on Instagram. He's on there. Daniel Sullivan. It's I think it's actually D Diesel Physique. So make sure you keep an eye on him because he's gonna be doing great things 2017. I can't fucking wait. So anyways though, we're gonna be basically doing six exercises in one. Or, uh, six reps in one set, or uh, and then uh, six sets in one deal. So it's gonna be fucking awesome. Here we go.